next uh, task six we'll see how to implement azure application gateway in front of uh, to azure virtual machine in the spoke virtual networks let's log into the azure portal and go to the virtual networks select vnet 01 Go to the subnet. I'm going to create a new subnet. Subnet name, subnet app GW. So this subnet is uh, will be dedicatedly used to by the application gateway and the subnet range 1060 3.224 slash 27. So uh, this application gateway require a dedicated subnet which is slash 27 or larger size and leave the other default and click save. Okay, so the subnet has been created for the application gateway. Next search for application gateway. create new application gateway so I'm going to create a new resource group click OK and give the application gateway name Okay, and I'll be leave in the same default region and uh, leave the same default year, which is standard V2. Enable auto scaling. No, I don't want to enable auto scaling. Um, availability zone 9, HTTP disable. Select the virtual network 01 and select the subnet for the application gateway. Click next for the front end details. Front end IP address type, leave it public and the public IP address. Okay, let's create the new public IP. Click OK. Click Next for backend. Add a backend pool. Enter the name for the backend. Add backend pool without our cat. Click no, which is the default. Okay, target type, IP address or FQDN, and the target. Let's enter 1060.4. So uh, 62.0.4 is the private IP address of VM2 and uh, the next one 63.0.4 which is the uh, private IP of VM3. Click add and click next for configuration. So here add a front end IP. Okay, I'm going to add a routing rule here. Enter the rule name. Rule 1 and the listener name. F 
front end IP select public and the protocol HTTP the port number listener type basic okay and click add so the target type select backend pool and the backend pool name And select a new HTTP setting. Give the setting name in backend protocol HTTP, backend port, and leave it disable. Click on add. Review and create. And click create. So let's wait for the application gateway instance to be created. This might take about a few minutes. Okay, so the deployment has been completed. Now go to the application gateway and copy the IP address of the application gateway okay so now the message comes from VM2 also if we open another browser and test it so it will get from VM3 as well so that's all in module 5 we have seen all the tasks so make sure you have clean up all the resources otherwise you will end up seeing additional cost in your subscription.